Hey guys, welcome back to Mrs. Dream Food Channel. I hope everyone is doing amazing. In this recipe, I am going to show you how to make the best tasting fancy fancy stew or fisherman stew. And you are going to love it because it is so delicious and so easy to prepare. So if interested, let's get right into it. For this recipe, I am going to use some king prawns already washed and deveined but I kept the head on for more flavor and for the fish I'm going to use croaker fish and mackerel so these are the only two types of fish I'm going to use for this recipe so next step is place the fish and the prawn in a large enough container then add in some roasted garlic granules or just garlic granules or garlic powder then i'm going to add some fish seasoning and you can use any type of fish seasoning you like you can even use adobo if that's what you like or prefer next i am going to add some crayfish flavor stock but you can use the prawn stock if you prefer or if that's what you have and i'm not going to add too much of it and that's it for the seasoning for the fish and prawn seasoning that's it nothing more next i am going to gently mix everything together and be careful or be gentle because you know it's fish and it is soft next I am going to cover it with some cling film and then I'll keep it in the fridge until it is time to take it back out. So now on to the stew. I'm going to add some Zomi palm oil and as I say I always use palm oil because I think it's the one that has the best taste but you can just use any regular palm oil next whilst the oil is getting hot i'm going to blend my fresh tomato with some onions i've got shallots which is the purple one there habanero peppers garlic cloves and fresh ginger so i'm going to blend all these together right now i am putting the tomatoes and the pepper onion ginger garlic and shallots in my blender and by the way if you want to use canned tomato please go ahead and use it the oil is ready now and i'm going to add in my sliced onions then I'm going to give it a little stir and leave the onion to fry for about three to four minutes or until it becomes translucent. Hey guys, let's check on our onions. It's been four minutes and it is nice and translucent. So I'm just giving it one more little stir. And then I am going to add in my blended mixture, which is the fresh tomatoes, garlic, shallots, onions, habanero. And by the way, I am making this too for a large amount of people. So that's why it is a lot. But usually I use half of all the ingredients. Then stir and cover it. And let it simmer on a medium heat for about 15 minutes hey guys it's been 15 minutes and I'm going to check on my stew it is looking amazing um, I am going to stir it to prevent it from burning so nice and gently and if you want your fancy fancy stew to taste extra tasty add in some ground prawns or ground crayfish 
it will take the stew to a whole different level also adding some salt and last but not least adding one cube of crayfish or brown just one and your stew is going to taste divine i promise you it is just amazing next give it a little stir then cover it and let it simmer for a further 10 minutes on a medium heat and then i'm going to get my fish ready so i took it out of the fridge it is nice and chilled and well marinated and you can see that the oil has also settled on top so our stew is basically almost ready and now adding the fish and also the prawns So now the seafood is added and I'm going to stir it gently and cover it and let it simmer for a further 10 minutes on a medium heat to low. Hey friends, look at this wonderful fanti fanti stew. The stew is almost ready and now I'm just going to add in some green chilies and these are extra hot chilies for the pepper lovers just like me. And again, I'm going to stir it gently. Then I am going to cover it partially and let it simmer for about five to seven minutes. And voila, our Fanti Fanti stew or fisherman stew is ready. And I can guarantee you it smells amazing. We enjoyed it with our homemade banku. And I also have a video on that pen who you see here, the perfect one. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to comment, like, and share my videos. Bye.